Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with this Mark V Supra, a car which, yes, I have experienced before, but actually quite a while ago. This car in particular is owned by a good friend of mine, Nathan from R23. He's an awesome photographer. You guys probably uh, know of him around the car scene. And he also works at Auto ID, where I actually am uh, today. Um, great to get this thing on the channel because this is actually running a stage three package. It's also meth injected, running around 550 horsepower. And because he's a member of the Auto ID family, um, he has a whole host of carbon fiber extras on the car. Epic looking thing. So of course, good to feature on the channel today. So what we'll do in usual fashion, we'll catch up with Nathan, have a walk around the car. He can explain to us everything which he's done to it. And then we'll go out for a drive in this 550 brake stage three Mark V Supra. Okay, we're joined now with Nathan, the owner of the Supra, mate. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on. No, mate, it's uh, it's been a long time coming getting this thing on the channel. Yeah. But we tried to get the S1 on the channel the other Oh, before. mate, the S1 would have been brilliant to get on, that but unfortunately, car. it's gone now. Yeah. But we're yeah. on to new things now. Mate, this, this is things. one hell of a car. One yeah. hell of a car. Stage yes. three? Stage three. Well, I'd probably say it's more like a stage two plus, it's a very okay. small hybrid turbo. Yeah. But yeah. Stage two plus, stage yeah. three. Okay, fair yeah. enough. What kind of power is it, 550? Uh, it made 550 on a dyno, but I've yeah. got meth installed now, so maybe just over 550. Okay. It's not it's not yeah. tuned for the meth, just to yeah. put the temps down. Yeah, yeah. And um, quite yeah. an interesting setup for the meth, actually. You said it's literally a yeah, so tank to the scuttle panel. On yeah. the Supras, when I tell people my meth tank's under the bonnet, they're like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's what but, I said. Uh, <laughs> it is completely separate from the engine bay. It's, it's in the scuttle panel. It's like a little stealth, yeah. a little stealth build. You can see it's all hidden away down there. Yeah. And that's yeah. running on 100% uh, meth or yeah. 80 20 meth. Um, okay. Yep. Just because the car's not tuned for it, and yeah. if you run 50 50 or stuff like that, when the car's not tuned for it, it can bug out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's just bringing my intake temps down nice and low because yeah. these are actually different to the 140. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, know that the turbo setup's completely different. Oh, really? I don't yeah. know that. Okay. So over here, uh, Supras actually have two port which go inside a internal manifold, whereas yeah. your 140 actually has like a six port external manifold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which this is better for stock turbos. Yeah. Stock turbo on the Super will make better power than the stock turbo on the 140. Okay. Yeah. But when you start changing up bigger turbos, this then becomes a bit of an issue because it then creates a lot more yeah. heat inside the. Uh, okay. So it is an upgraded turbo then. It is. An, yeah, it yeah. is an upgraded turbo. So this is uh, unreleased turbo from Litco. Okay. Um, yeah. Devil Development's done the work for mm -hmm. me and stuck it all on. So it's a very small hybrid. It's literally yeah. about two mil bigger than stock. Okay. The reason why they've gone down that route is they were trying to build like a, well, they, they have built a, uh, a turbo, which is for like maximum usable power on the road, yeah. basically. Okay, fair enough. It's a low end one, gets you over 500 quite easily yeah, and yeah. for a cheap price as well. Yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. But, All um, the other supporting mods, like the right. charge pipes. Yeah, so uh, this is an armor speed carbon intake. Yep. Um, carbon just goes straight down, Looks straight nice, into the it? turbo. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It does have a cover which you can yeah. put over it, but that was forged carbon and I didn't mm. really like how everything else on the car is like normal yeah, carbon. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. I've, I've took that off, leaving it exposed and mm -hmm. obviously I've got the meth now, so the temps don't matter yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, forged charge pipes mm -hmm. with a 620 25 mil meth nozzle which goes okay. into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as far as it is under the bonnet, there's actually nothing yeah, else. Kind of nothing it. else really. Yeah, um, the rest of it's just all like really. suspension styling wise. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Aside from the performance, it looks incredible. This car. <laughs> I do love it, incredible. man. It's a, it's so nice to shoot. Literally, so yeah. nice to shoot. Obviously, yeah, like, I'm I mentioned. Yeah, I mentioned the in the yeah. intro that you are a photographer. I'll leave all the links down below. But lovely, I'm sure yeah. Who you are anyway. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, wheels wise, West Forged. So these are West Forged. He calls them Satties, and this, I believe it's a 9.5J on the front with a. Hold on a minute. It's got <laughs> 9.5 down the front with a 265 tyre, which, five, yeah, wow. and then on the back we've got 11 J's, yeah, and that's got a 305 <laughs> 30 profile tyre on the back, so we've got a lot of meat on the back, yeah, that's especially if you come it. like quite far back, you can actually see the depth of the stance that this has when it's going down the road. Is uh, yeah, they are big old tyres, aren't they? It's like a little tank going down the road, <laughs> but yeah, that helps massively with yeah. putting down power, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll start from the back styling work, so this is the all ID carbon race wing. Mm -hmm. Similar to the Street Hunter wing, except for it's got slightly better fitment and it's a yeah. little bit cheaper as well. Okay, well, yeah. win win. Yeah, win win. <laughs> Auto ID essential rear spats. Yep. 
have got a rear diffuser which is in the making but it hasn't been finished yet yeah um full custom exhaust system mm -hmm. downpipe nice and yep. it's pretty much a straight pipe um when the valves open and then it yep. goes through one box when the valve shut that was built by mad dp at overkill yeah dave's the man yeah honestly um when it comes to exhaust he's the man auto id essential side skirts mm -hmm. These aren't on auto ID yet, but they'll just be essential door, I quite like that, actually. door spat yeah, yeah. thingy my bobs. Yeah. <laughs> thingy my bobs. Put yeah. that on the website, please. Thingy my um, bobs. <laughs> yeah, thingy my bobs. <laughs> These are a first gen of our fenders. As you can see, the fitment isn't bang on yet, but we've got a new gen, which we're actually going to be fitting today. Oh, sweet. Unfortunately, you've come a little bit early. Yeah, sorry. Otherwise, it would have been bang on. <laughs> but um, yeah, they should be on the store pretty soon as well. Wicked. Um, awesome. And also got the TRE yep. M style. We got a, it's a BMW. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. they're keeping some BMW heritage. I love the fixed wing at the back though. Yeah, the wing's wing's naughty, man. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, and also really got cool. a couple other bits on the front. I missed it. So is. we've got Auto Technic carbon Ooh. canards. They're they're nice. They're pre prepared carbon, and then we've yeah. got the essentials front splitter as well, which nice. is nice. Have got some black badges coming as well, but they're yeah. not here yet. It's like a full on like super stealth spec, isn't it? Yeah, I just love black. Yeah, just no, black awesome. everything out. Literally, really, really, really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I think if that's pretty much everything on the yeah, outside. Yeah, that's it. We've got a couple tiny little, mo well, a massive mod actually for the Supras, to be fair. Yeah. So, the standard steering wheel, I don't know if oh, any yeah. of you lot have seen it, it's like a circular, horrible yellow yeah. steering wheel. <laughs> so, we changed that out for a OHT yeah. carbon LED steering wheel. Sweet. Awesome. Someone I know might have just got one of them as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the carbon. To be fair, I think that video will be up. <laughs> um, oh, lovely. But yeah, no. Oh, same, sick, same yeah. kind of manufacturer of same, steering wheel. Basically. Same sort of yeah. thing, yeah. And then yeah. just got some paddle shifters. Sweet. But the rest of the interior is all stock, to be honest. Yeah. All the carbon stock. Yeah, yeah. And one last little bit is a Bath Motorsport. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Rear bar as well, which is Roughly. quite nice. That just stops yeah, yeah. like your camera bag hitting you in the head when you break. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big boot, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's so huge. It, yeah, it is quite a big boot. Like, you get a suitcase in it, all right? Yeah. Yeah, nice. so it's not like the old Z4s when you can't fit nothing in them at all. Yeah, yeah, big time. It has got a bit of space, which is nice. Decent, man. All right, yeah. brilliant. I think let's get it fired up. Yeah. Go for a quick spin. <laughs> Nuts. Gripped up well though, didn't it? It did, yeah. Well, those are big old tyres, yeah. 305s. You yeah. say you've just had XHP put on. Literally just had yeah. XHP put on. You can tell it's that. Yeah, it's, it's like a DSG that. fart, isn't it? It is, isn't it? The shift's with, insane. With this, like, there's, there's like nothing behind you, so like. So you can hear it all. Yeah, you can hear it so much more. I think where this is different to the 140 as well, we're literally sitting on the back tyres. Yeah, yeah. So you can feel a bit more of. Mm. feel a bit more of everything, really. <laughs> It does just creep up and go, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> it's like a four wheel drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. mate. And th this thing as well has so much road presence. Yeah. Like, wide boy. It is naughty. Yeah. You got any more plans for the interior? Um, to be fair, I don't I don't really know what to do with the interior. It's quite. So much carbon anyway. Isn't yeah, it? like, it comes factory with all like this sort of carbon and stuff like that. It'd be mm. nice to go, like, get these bits here that are gloss back done in carbon. Yeah, the door carbon. And you can get like a carbon Supra trim that goes okay. here. Yeah. A few other like nice little bits. Bucket seats. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do, uh, these seats are comfy. They're they not are. the greatest looking. So, to be fair, for a, for a Toyota, they're quite nice looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're still not, they're still not mental looking seats. So it would True. be nice to go buckets. Yeah. But I love how comfy these are. They man. are super comfy. And they still, they hold you in decent. They're not bad. It's yeah, not like, not it's not tucking you in too much. Yeah. But, yeah. It is a nice car to, to be in, I suppose. Yeah. Like, chuck it in, 
chuck it in the old comfort modes and then and really, it's we're chilling chill, yeah we're in a jaguar yeah <laughs> you're in a jag that's it we're in a jag baby <laughs> yeah no, it's a chill car to be in like that and then yeah. obviously when you put it in sport and open the valves it so like gets the, a little bit louder the exhaust which dave did for you yeah completely valved so you can open and close it yeah yeah you want. yeah so that literally that valve opens and closes when i go between sport and like normal mode basically yeah uh, okay cool oh i forgot to mention in the other video well yeah. the the start of it this car is yeah. on 40 mil Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. that explain why it sits so well. Yeah, well. yeah, okay, fair enough. So, uh, the reason why I didn't go coil over is when I first got the car, I jumped on like the American Facebook groups because mm. no one in the UK really had one of these and was doing that much at the time. True, there yeah. was a few, but yeah, yeah. not many. And all of the guys that like track their car and stuff, there was like, don't bother with going for a coil over setup because the stop dampers on these are really good. Okay, so I ended up sending some springs on it yeah it fits well fitman's good and obviously no need for spaces either no i've got wheels. yeah i've got the fitman yeah. bang on to be fair it sits really well i spent actually. ages working that out yeah I, I was so like scared because i didn't know whether i went too wide because mm. if you go too wide then you're buggered because you know? oh, i was at auto id when your tires turned up and he yeah. said to me you've got 305 rear and i was like oh okay that, yeah that ain't gonna fit <laughs> yeah yeah but, no, it does. The it rear does arches are so deep on these. They like, are. You literally can fit like your whole arm in the rear arch. You could probably go a bit higher than a 305. Wow. You could go higher, a bit wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. what you mean. <laughs> Such a riot. Yeah. I just love how you put you change that one button and it's just like a completely different yeah, car. Yeah, big time. So I've got um switchable maps. Yeah. And I've got four maps basically. Mm -hmm. Um I've got a low boost map which has no overrun, no burbles or nothing. It's just like a quiet mode map yeah. that you can just chill in. Yeah. Then I've got another low boost map which has the burbles that these has on it, which is yeah. like a light little like bum, bum, bum. Yeah. And then I've got full boost with Bubbles, which is on at the moment, and then I've got like a flame map, Ooh, nice. which is quite naughty. So to change it, all you do is yeah. literally like hold down res cancel, yeah, and then you can just flick through. Oh, it. Yeah. I think it's the same as as yours got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, mine's got that. I've yeah. only got two maps though. So. Oh, okay, yeah, but yeah, same. You same can probably concept. put four maps on yours as well. Probably could, yeah. Probably but could. yeah, now hopefully. Oh, yeah, she's a bit more. So yeah. this is double double developments map. This and uh, no. So, oh, we didn't, mate, we didn't mention this. No, I'm so mad. What, what we're doing is too much. Oh, there, mate. no. Uh, so, SRD done all the tuning on this. Gotcha, yeah. SRD tuning, yeah. yeah. They're like super specialists, basically. Yeah, yeah. Devil's that. done the work on the car, and yeah. then the car went to SRD for the tuning. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a great guy, man, I can't lie. Yeah. He smashed it, because like, where these are completely different to tune compared to a 140, mm. it's quite difficult to find somewhere which actually specialise in it, but True. he's got his own shop car and he's yeah. turboed it himself and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I think so, I've seen some bits online about him actually. Yeah, he's a really good man. It's probably worth noting as well, like, you bought this stock yeah. not that long ago. I yeah, think. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I literally bought it, uh, I think, six months ago. And then I had the turbo on it when it was on like 1,500 miles. No. Yeah, and then there was just loads of development with like trying to get it running right, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that took quite a while, basically. Oh, fair play. Ended up needing the meth because, as I explained earlier, your temps on these get a bit get a bit crazy. Yeah, true, true. But we're all, we're all sorted now. In the future, I'll be going a bigger turbo, by a Litco as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then... They're literally just finishing up development on that turbo at the moment, so mm -hmm. soon. Switch it out. Switching it out and nice. going for that one. Anyway, mate, back into comfort we go. Yeah. And I think time to wrap up the video. <laughs> <laughs> All that fuel you just put in before we started filming is probably gone. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gone out quick. <laughs> oh, mate, absolutely awesome. Oh, Cheers, bro. Thanks for having me on. No, mate. No, it's Smashed been a pleasure. It. Been a pleasure. I've I mean, enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, you fit in my little my little steering wheel today as well, which that's you've probably seen in a video already on the channel. That's um, it. But yeah, good to get this uh, this thing on the channel, and actually another super as well, because I mean, all my content's 140 based for obvious reasons. But, yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway, you can find both Nathan's photography link and also the Auto ID links all down in the description down below for you guys to go check out. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have. Please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.